This video was made possible by the EA Creator Network. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Brand New Speedwell. Today I have a Tartosa vacation home for you guys, and I am so excited to share it because in this build, I really tried to showcase the new-ish kit <laughs> that we got a couple of weeks ago now, um, which actually we got two, um, and if you missed it last week, I did build a um, bistro kind of in uh, Magnolia Promenade out of our all the worlds but anyways um i built that last week and this week i want to focus on the other kit that we got a couple of weeks ago which was the riviera retreat kit i'm pretty sure it was called um and yeah i'm so excited to share this with you guys because i love how this build turned out i had a lot of fun with it um and honestly i love this kit um not gonna lie i was not well i was excited for it but like i knew <laughs> I knew the Vistro kit was probably going to be a little bit easier for me to use because, well, if you've been here before, you will know that Cozy is my whole entire thing and the kit is literally called, like, the Cozy Vistro kit, so, you know, it was pretty pretty self-explanatory in that part, but um, uh, for this kit, I knew that I was going to like it, but I also knew I was going to struggle because it is in a more, I want to say Mediterranean style, not really, like, you can definitely use the objects in any type of world and stuff like that but I wanted to build something more Mediterranean-ish with it and so I knew I was gonna struggle a little bit so like I said uh last week I did or not last week actually because I didn't post last week um but the week before that I did post um the bistro because that was the first thing I built when I got my hands on these two new kits but um then I decided to build this and I had so much fun with it and I'm so excited to share it with you guys um but yeah so like I said we did get this <laughs> kit um, a couple of months ago, or not a couple of months ago, a couple of weeks ago, I think it was honestly kind of almost a month ago, I think, I don't actually remember, I think it was like four weeks or something like that, and I was supposed to have this out last week, um, but a lot of things happened, and I will talk about that later, but um, I couldn't, so you're getting it this week, I hope that's okay, um, but anyways, uh, like I said before, this is a vacation house, but you can 100% use it as a regular family home if you want to. Um, I just knew that I wanted to build in Tartosa because building in Tartosa is like one of my favorite things to do. Um, I, I, like genuinely, I adore building here. I love building in this style. I love building um, like with the interior des design and the exterior design. Like I just, I just love I just love Tartosa, honestly. Um, but we don't have that many lots in Tartosa, so I've been kind of like saving some lots <laughs> for like a day where I'm like really craving to do it um and I don't have that many lots left but I did have this lot and I knew I wanted there to be a rental for my save file here so this house will be in my save file whenever I release that but um so yeah like again I wanted it to be a rental but you can definitely just use it as a family home if you want to there's nothing stopping you really um there ends up being three bedrooms but Two of them have double beds in them and then um, the last one ends up being kind of like a kid's room. I want there to be a room that we're like, if you come here like as a family, because I didn't want this. Uh, well, I at first I actually wanted it to be more like a honeymoon place, you know, because the whole Tartosa, you know, kit, uh, not kit, the, the whole, whole Tartosa um, game pack was focused on like, you know, weddings and stuff like this my wedding story so it was a wedding related obviously um so it did want to have like some type of honeymoon place but then this house ended up being really big so i was like you probably i mean you can still honeymoon here definitely but there will be some extra bedrooms um but you might want to go here on i don't know family vacation or something like that so um there ends up being a bedroom that is a little bit more catered towards children um there are two single beds in that room and then there ends up being like a doll's house and you know stuff like that um but yeah so and there's not a lot of bedrooms but there are more than I initially wanted but I think it actually ends up working out there is also an office which might be a little weird <laughs> if you're thinking that this is going to be a vacation home but um for a lot of like the time I was building this um yeah I was thinking that it was a vacation house but more so like a vacation home than a rental home if that makes sense um so obviously in the game this will be a rental but in real life I was thinking that maybe like 
I don't know, a kind of a rich family, because I feel like only a rich family would have this as a vacation house, but like, kind of like a rich family has a, you know, they have their house that they live in like all year round, you know, that might be in, I don't know, Willow Creek or something like that. Um, but I was thinking that maybe they have this house as like their vacation house. So like during the summers and stuff like that, they stay here. Um, obviously again, for gameplay that doesn't, well, I guess you could kind of like, move between the houses i guess but um <laughs> like we don't have vacation houses you can't own two properties um unless you own like a boutique or something or like a re like clinic i'm pretty sure um why did i say boutique a, a store a clothes store basically a retail store <laughs> but like you can't own more than two uh, more than one actually um like residential lots so for you know gameplay you would probably have this as a rental but um yeah, I, I don't know. I kind of like that idea as well. So there ends up being an office, mostly also because I had the space, and I decided to make it pretty generic. Um, this entire house is pretty generic. Like, I tried to make hints throughout the entire build that, like, there's not a family living here, like, permanently. So, um, for instance, I put, like, some suitcases everywhere, um, like, in the rooms, and then also, you know, like, by the front door and stuff like that. I didn't put a suitcase in the kitchen, like, that would be a little weird, but, like, in the places where it makes sense. Um, and then I also, uh, decided to not put any, like, you know, like, family photographs, I guess? We don't really have them in-game, but I like to imagine that we do sometimes. So we have this picture of, like, I think it's a football team, and I always use it, and I always imagine that it's, like, more like a family photo. Um, it's one of those, uh, picture frames the way I like, you can put it on, like, a side table or whatever, and I decided to not use that throughout the build because I wanted this to be a little bit more generic, and then, um, I also didn't put, like, I don't know, like, hanging pictures of, like, families and like people or it's like I normally would because normally I like to put in a little bit of realism to my families and to like have those um I don't know like family photos all over but for this it just didn't make sense also sorry if you can hear that that, that is a plane I don't know what it's doing but I have to record this right now so I'm sorry if you can hear that anyways um but yeah and then I also <laughs> one of the things that I thought was really cute and uh, like a really cool idea is um in the bathrooms you will only see me do one bathroom which by the way I love the bathrooms for this build um but um you will see me do one of the bathrooms but I think I do it in not all the bathrooms but I think two of them I think I don't know um I on the like counter where like the sink is um when i was cluttering that up i didn't really know what to put but i decided to put this item that we got from i want to say okay either it's like high school years or it might be like a kit like the everyday clutter kit but i think it might be high school years but basically we have this item this clutter item um where it's like a, it looks like some type of like makeup bag or something like that um you'll see when i when i do the bathrooms later on you'll see me do it but like there's this like makeup bag or i think it's like a little like square bag and then on top of it it looks like i don't know like a little makeup bag that you would you use for like your toiletries and stuff like that so i thought that was really cute touch to like show that they don't have their stuff like in the drawers here like they have they have brought it during a vacation and so they just still have them have it in their bag um because i know some people like i don't know like they hang up their clothes and they um like i don't know put things in drawers and stuff like that when then when they are on vacation and i just i don't do that personally um unless i'm like staying that there for a while i might like i don't know like hang up some clothes and stuff like that but otherwise i live out of my suitcase so i don't know I, for me it just feels a little weird to like unpack your things so usually like in the bathroom i will just have my toiletry bag like in there at all times but um yeah there's basically just like touches it's like small little touches like that that i wanted to signalize that this is more a vacation house again you can totally have this as a um like family house i would probably just like make one of the bedrooms into maybe like a teen's room or another kid's room or something like that um because or like maybe you have i don't know maybe you have two like maybe you have like two parents and then an aunt or something so i don't know um anyways uh i want to before we continue on in the video i want to apologize for how it might sound um if i sound weird to you guys it's because i'm kind of sick um like i can feel a cold starting to come on um you know how like <laughs> you know when you can like feel it coming and there's nothing you can do about it but you like you can feel it for like a couple of days and then it hits you a couple of days after yeah i'm in that stage um i've been working the past two weeks as well like almost full time and i work at a pharmacy so 
<laughs> yeah, it's not that surprising that I would get sick. But now I have a week off because um, they don't actually need me in until next week. Um, next Thursday, actually. So I have like a week off. So now I can be sick and then I, <laughs> and then I work full time like the rest of the summer. So um, yeah, basically what I was trying to say is that if I sound weird, if there are any weird pauses or anything like that, it's because I'm sick and I need to sneeze or I need to clear my throat <laughs> or, you know, something like that. Um, but yeah, anyways, getting on talking more about the the bill itself. Um, when I went into this build, I again knew that I wanted to build it here in Tartosa, and I think this is the first, I was gonna say it's the first time, that's not actually true, I was gonna say it's the first time that I've ever built in Tartosa without a reference picture, but that's not true because, um, I think it was in the beginning of this year I did a build there, um, there, <laughs> I did a build here, um, in Tartosa with, where I didn't go off a reference picture, but for this one I also did not go off a reference picture. Um, I just knew that I wanted um, the house to, like, not be maybe the main focus, like, kind of, but not really. Um, I knew I wanted there to be a big pool and that for the pool to be in the front and not, like, a backyard pool. Like, I knew I wanted you to be able to see it from the front, uh, and that's mostly just because I wanted to show off this new kit. So, <laughs> basically with this kit um the whole thing is focusing on like exterior and like the pool side and stuff like that it's called the Riviera tree kit and that's really like what it's about it's like just chilling vibing outside <laughs> so um like i said before it has a kind of like mediterranean feel but you could definitely use these objects like anywhere i have personally like i have been building houses since um since i built this um or since we have gotten these past two kits and i have been using this kit in like every other build because it's just very versatile um but yeah i just i really like it we got a bunch of new stuff and so if you missed uh last video uh which was the cozy bistro kit i'm gonna do a similar thing where i'm gonna like point out the new things so that you might you know see them and maybe you haven't really maybe you don't really know what's in this kit and so you want to know and so i don't know i'm gonna just point them out a little bit um i'm gonna try not to make it too like i don't know annoying but anyways <laughs> so um obviously again i want there to be a big pool because we got some new pool things which is really cool um i have been wanting more pool things for forever because I love making pools and like having pools and backyards and stuff like that and houses but like there's not a lot of pool stuff uh, but we got some new both uh, wall tiling and floor tiling which I used I think I used it in the pool and then I also use it in the bathrooms um, so you will see me use it there as well and I use the um, wall tiling in the kitchen and it works perfect it's so beautiful I'm gonna use it all the time in like any Mediterranean type of build that is gonna be my new go-to um, and I'm really happy with it because there's also some like we have gotten some like more i want to say like mediterranean tiling that's not, i don't know if that makes sense but anyways we've gotten kind of some mediterranean tiling ish um with a few different packs and kits and stuff like that but a lot of them have like these really loud either like patterns or colors and stuff like that and so i haven't really been using them a lot but these ones um or like the both the flooring and the tiling that came from this kit they do have some like really loud colors stuff like that but there are also a couple of like neutral ones so i'm gonna definitely be using those a lot and then also for the pool there is a new i don't know what it's called a pool trim is that what you would call it um you'll see where like obviously there's a pool in the ground and then when where the pool meets the edge of the pool meets i don't know the the ground if that makes sense <laughs> You know how you usually have like just a white trim? Uh, we have a couple of new trims. So the one I used for this one is um, like a pretty broad little like stone one and I think it looks so good. Um, I have actually used that recently in the build that I was doing because it just fit very well in that build. Um, and then there's also some new pool ladders which oh my god thank you <laughs> we had i think we had like two pool ladders before we had one from base game that is a, just like a basic one obviously um and then we also i think we had one from um the get together expansion pack but it's like a run down like pool ladder i think it's meant for like the ruins if you've ever been in windenburg or stuff like that um you will know but it's like it's it's really really run down and now we have this new beautiful pool ladder which i know is really weird to get excited about a pool ladder but it's beautiful um also i want to point out that i was able to get a code 
of this kit through the EA Creative Network, but they are have in no way paid me for any of my opinions. Um, I feel like that's I, I feel like I have to say that because um, I don't want anyone to think that I'm just saying these like these good things about this film because you know it's I I got the kit. Um, for free like no I got it so I was able to, so I'm able to show it to you guys and if I hated this I would tell you but I don't so you know anyways um <laughs> we also have that I put at the pool we also have some new like pool floaties thingies you know the things that you can like lay in the pool in or, like chill we have a couple of new of those I did did put um or do we have one version of a new one if that makes sense. I said a couple of those basically I said a couple of those because I use um two of them in the pool <laughs> and then we also have some uh new lo uh, sun lounges which I also use love them absolutely amazing we have some matching like the wood and the I don't know the the woven pattern and stuff like that <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense basically we have some like kind of matching um chairs we have a little like a little round um table that has like an umbrella like an outside table that has an umbrella in it that is also matching to that um and we also have this new i don't know how to explain it it's this kind of um it looks kind of like a side table but it has some like towels and stuff like that on the bottom of it so it, it's meant for like to have like by the pool or like in a bathroom or something like that which weirdly enough i'm really excited about that because i feel like i'm gonna be able to use it in like bathrooms and also by the pool so i'm really excited about it might be also a very weird thing to get excited about but i'm really excited about that um and i like that they all match and they all have some really good swatches again some neutral ones which i love um and then honestly like one of the main things there are two main things that i was super excited about for this kit number one you will see that i use this like i want to call it a pergola I think it's called a pergola basically this um thing that i put to the left side of the pool where i put the dining room table or the dining room table the dining table <laughs> the outdoor dining table um also sorry if you can hear any weird things that that might be my neighbors again i have to record this right now i am so sorry if you can hear them um but anyways basically um I think it's called a pergola, but it's this big like metal frame thingy and it's beautiful and it has a few different swatches and there are two different variants on the swatches, if that makes sense. One variant has um, some ivy growing on it, which is the variant I used in this one um, or this build. And then there's also another variant which has some like curtains, but like some sheer curtains on it, which to me looks a little bit more like luxurious and stuff like that. And I love this pergola like when i saw this um for the first time i was like i'm gonna use this all the time i love it i love using pergolas we have a couple of different ones in the game already um but i'm so excited to be able to use this one and it comes again in some great swatches and i love the ivy and i love the curtain i don't know i just i love it i love the detail on it i think it just looks beautiful and yeah i don't know i just love it <laughs> that's about it um <laughs> <laughs> that's why I, I love it um and then well actually i was wrong i had two more things outside of that i had three things that i was really excited about um it was that one and then there's also you will see we have these new like stone step things which i have been wanting something like this in the game for forever um and i i love that we have it now uh basically before i've been able to use um i've been able to use what <laughs> If you ever see me do like a pathway that is kind of made out of like some stone slabs or anything like that, those stone slabs have been base game ones from the live edit menu and they're all like individual and it takes forever to place them but it looks really good in the end. And then I think the Sims team had seen us do that so they decided to gift us with these beautiful um like stones that are, they're kind of individual, there's like basically i think it's a two by two square um of those stones and they're in a few different like i don't know arrangements and stuff like that and then you can basically just put them next to each other and make a pathway and it's beautiful and you can decide how long you want it and where, where you want it i love that they didn't make it into a flooring or into a um a terrain paint i love that they made it into like an item um like i think it's classified as a rug in the game but i love it so much i'm going to be using it all the time again <laughs> it's great um also one of the ends on it which i didn't even discover this because it's not that obvious if you just put them in a row but one of the like corners of it not one of the ends but one of the corners of it is a little bit rounded so um, i did this for this build but like if you want to have a pathway where like i don't know 
it, it goes straight and then you want it to go left or something like that and you want that turn to the left to not be as harsh to be as, with like I don't know just this like a straight corner you can use that rounded corner and it looks beautiful um and again it's not like too obvious when you like put them all together but like if you use it like that you will see it and it's so beautiful and I love it and yeah I hope you guys love it as well and then the other thing that I was really really excited about which I think everyone was really excited about I think this was like the main thing was the new fountains basically we do have technically I guess three new fountains um one of them is a very similar one to the ones we already have in game you will see it I use it in twice in this build I think it's kind of this just square fountain bath thingy it looks a little bit like a bird bath combined with a fountain I don't know how to explain it but then the other two ones are the ones that people have been really excited about me included because they are stones and they have fountains in them oh my god I love them so much. Um, I use them all over this build. I use them by the pool, so like the water goes into the pool, and then I used it um, where I end up using um, or using where I end up putting a yoga mat, kind of like by the greenish house. I don't know what to call the greenhouse because it's not actually a greenhouse. There ends up being some like chill spaces in there or like some, I don't know, relax space, relaxing spaces in there. Like there's a bar, there's a couple of like lounges and stuff like that because I didn't want there to be a greenhouse because if this is a vacation house, like who is managing that greenhouse? Who? Um, so I thought that good idea, but I, I don't know what to call it because it does look like a greenhouse. So if I, if I mention the greenhouse, that is what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, I put those, um, new fountains over there by the yoga mat and then um again I put them in the pool and then I put them I think I put them somewhere else as well they're just beautiful they are so so beautiful and I've been wanting something like this in the game for forever and I feel like everyone has kind of wanted something like this in the game for forever um we had we actually haven't had anything like this people have been like kind of able to do it through um using the tool mod and stuff like that but it's still been really hard to do and now we just have some rocks that has water coming out of them it looks beautiful and i'm gonna be using them all the time and specifically in builds in like this type of world and stuff like that i just feel like it fits so well and i I'm so excited <laughs> to use them like all over the place um but yeah I think those were like the things that I was really really excited about actually there was one more <laughs> I just keep coming up with things uh, we have a new plant which I did use in my um video like my last video um but I, I don't know if I mentioned it I might have I don't remember um but we have this new plant that looks like a lemon tree and I love it I'm gonna be using it all the time uh, fun fact about my, me, me? <laughs> I was gonna say me and then my house, but then I just said, fun fact about my, I don't know what that, I meant with that, but anyways, fun fact about my house, um, we have a lemon tree actually growing in something very, like it looks very similar to that, um, and we have had it for years and it's actually thriving, like we get lemons from it, so I don't know, I just, I really like that we have something like that in the game, because for me it's realistic, I know that not, most people probably have a lemon tree but um we do that we take care of um, and it's it, it's in a little pot like just like the one we have in game and it's just beautiful um so yeah i was really excited about that um what else do we have from this kit oh actually we have two things that i use on the interior um like i said before this kit is very like exterior <laughs> focused which makes sense it's supposed to be kind of like a pool kit um like obviously it's called the Riviera Retreat Kit, but I feel like it's very much a pool kit, <laughs> if that makes sense, and like an outdoor kit. But um, on the interior, I do end up using two things. One thing, uh, the first thing is the archway. So we have a new beautiful stone archway. I love it. I'm going to be using it in builds like these ones because I don't know why, when, but when I make like Mediterranean homes, I go for more of like stone feel than wood feel. And I don't know why, it just feels right, and I think it is right, like, architectural, architecturally, is that a word? I don't know, don't quote me on that, but, <laughs> um, I think, I think it's right to use more stone in these types of builds, but anyways, um, it's a beautiful stone archway, it works both on the interior and exterior, um, obviously I used it for the interior on this one, but, yeah, it looks beautiful and I love it, um, and then we also have a new wall light, which I don't know if you would call it a wall light. It's a wall candle, which I used all over the house, which, okay, right. 
I want to talk about those because realistically, it's going to be a pain having to light those candles each day. But I was thinking that maybe they're actually like electronic, like fake candles. But, you know, <laughs> for the convenience sake of this game, I'm going to say they're electronic Obviously, it doesn't matter because, like, the candles in the game, they don't burn out. You can just light them when you light, like, everything. Like, it doesn't matter. Um, but, yeah, I really like them. I end up using them all over the house. Um, and I really like them. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if there was anything else from this kit that I want to talk about. I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, if there was, I am so sorry. But, basically, what my, like, final thoughts on this kit specifically is... Um, or are that I love it. <laughs> I think it looks great. And I, um, I don't know. I like, if you like building specifically in like this type of style or like outdoor focused, I would definitely try to get it if you can, because it's, I don't know. It's great. Specifically, like if you like pools, it's great. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, I'm so sorry if you just heard like a lot of weird noises. <laughs> I had to stop for a bit. I don't know what was going on. I think my dad was doing something else in my room. I don't know. I think he was doing something with a, like, I don't know, with a box. I don't, I don't know. And then there's honking outside. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have to get this video done again right now. Like, I've been pushing to record this voiceover all week. And then now I'm, like, here the final day where I have to record it. And I, there's just so many sounds. But I have to record it now so I can get it up for you guys tomorrow. Um... But yeah, uh, I don't know if there was anything else I wanted to mention about this build, like in general. Um, actually, you might see me pull out a couple of times to do this throughout the build. Um, the first time you will see me do it is in the entryway. And then I also end up doing it, I think, in like the living room and maybe a couple of different other places. Um, basically, you will see me pull out this like wall randomly from my saved rooms and then there are paintings on and then I just put one of the paintings in the build. Um, those are not CC at all. Those are paintings that Sims in the game have actually painted. Um, a couple of years ago, a couple of years ago, it's been like five years ago now. Um, it was way before I started my channel. I had a Sim on a lot to just paint, like basically all the different types of paintings you can paint in the game. Um, and I just had them paint them and then I sometimes use them in my builds. I tend not to because I forget about it, but for this build, I just had a couple of paintings that I thought fitted really well, so I decided to use them, and I hope you're okay with that. <laughs> but yeah, um, I just thought I'd mention that because uh, I feel like I might get some questions otherwise. <laughs> just like asking um, what those things are, or like if they're CC or not, those paintings, but they're not. Um, they're actually things you can make in the game. Um, but yeah. I don't think there was anything else I want to talk about when it came to the build itself. Um, if you have any questions, as always, just ask me. Um, this will be up in my gallery, as always. And, yeah. Um, actually, there was one thing that is not, like, just for this build, but <laughs> I have gotten so many questions about what those green things I use are, which... If you've been here before, you will know what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know if I've done it yet for this um, for this build, but basically, sometimes when I clutter up a surface or something like that, I will put some like green horns or some pink water bottles, but I prefer the green horns because they're really tall so I can see them. Um, but I will put those kind of as placeholders, um, and I always get questions about them, um, what they are or something like that. And I've explained it a couple of times now in a few different videos, and I've explained it in the comments and stuff like that. And... It's gotten to the point where I'm like, I get this question at least like once a week at this point. <laughs> um, I feel like it. I don't actually, I think, but like it feels like it. And to the point where even my boyfriend, who I've talked about, I put to talk about in every single video. I talk about him a lot. Um, he's just, you know, a part of the videos at this point. Um, but <laughs> even he has like started to respond to some of the comments to like explain what it is, which is really funny because I've talked about this before. He doesn't play The Sims. I don't think he's ever, well, he probably has touched the game when he was, like, younger and stuff like that, but, like, <laughs> he doesn't play the game. He didn't know what they were until I explained it um, in a video a couple of, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, I was gonna say, but I don't know, probably a couple months ago. I don't remember, um, but... <laughs> um basically yeah like he has started to just respond to comments about it um like that's how much i get those comments and he has like talked to me about it like you get those comments a lot huh and i was like yeah i do uh which i totally understand like if you, this is your first time watching my video or if you have 
I guess if you've watched my videos before and you don't know what those are for, I totally get that you will be very confused and you're like, hey, what are those for? Um, but yeah, they're just placeholders. The reason I'm telling you this is because now in my frequently asked um, part of my uh, description box, there's an explanation in every single video. <laughs> So, now you know. Um, if you ever wonder anything, actually, um, just go to the Frequently Asked page um, in the description box. I decided to make it because I was getting that question and I was getting a couple of other ones, so I just thought I'd make it like that. So, it's in the description box now. Um, and so now, if there's ever anyone asking, I might, I might, like, explain it in the comments, but I might also just be like, hey, just look in the description box and you'll get an answer because I feel too lazy to type it out because <laughs> I'm... I'm lazy. I'm lazy like that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, I don't think there was any, like I said, like five times, I don't think there was anything else I want to talk about when it came to this build. I can move on to rambling now, um, <laughs> which is my specialty. I love rambling, man. It's what I do. I feel like it might turn some people away from my channel, but I'm like, if you don't like rambling, you're not gonna like me, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Or you can do what my mom does and watch vi this video on mute. She watches like basically all videos on mute, um, not just like Sims videos or like specifically my videos. Like she watches all videos on mute. Um, so maybe you do that and then you can't hear me tell you that you're watching this on mute. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyways, um, so like I said earlier, this was supposed to be out last week, and <laughs> it really was. I had it edited and stuff. I, well, I didn't have it completely finished editing, but I had it, like, mostly edited. Um, I just had some stuff to do about with it and, like, finish editing and, like, take screenshots and stuff like that. Um, but... Um, that, I wasn't able to do that. <laughs> I wasn't able to post it because if you saw my post that I did on my community tab here on YouTube or on Twitter, um, you would have seen that I had an accident and I wasn't able to finish it last week. Um, when I was writing that message, um, I was a little bit torn on whether I should actually like call it an accident or not because if someone says that they've had an accident, the first thing or like been in an accident the first thing i will think about like the only thing i will think about is being in a car accident which i was not don't worry um this was very much not a car accident it was really funny actually um but yeah it wasn't a car accident i was really like scared that if i put that it, people would think that and would be like a bigger thing than it actually is but in the end i decided to um call it that anyways just because that makes sense also sorry i just noticed something in the game <laughs> Um, that is also from the new kit that I didn't talk about. We have new curtains. Um, I will get back to what I was talking about, but we have new curtains, which I used, um, all over the build. I sized them down a little bit in some places and I used them in the, um, like regular size, but I just thought I'd mention them because they're beautiful and I love them and I'm going to be using them in a lot of builds. Anyways, um, <laughs> I feel like I talked really fast there. Um, but yeah, anyways, I was a little bit hesitant to call it an accident, but in the end, I feel like that was, that was the right word for it, but I, it wasn't a car accident don't worry um basically it's a long story and i don't i'm not gonna explain it all because i don't feel like it and i, I don't know how to explain it honestly uh but it wasn't anything like too serious um it was really funny like actually i was telling one of my friends about it um like the day it happened <laughs> I was like, I was wanting to tell, sorry if you can hear, if you can hear any like mumbling in the background, that's my mother talking to my grandmother, I think on the phone. But anyways, um, um, but anyways, basically I was telling my friend about like what happened and, <laughs> and I was laughing while I was telling it because if you would have been there and seen what happened, it would have been really funny. Um, but I was telling her it and she was like, Mel, if I had been there, like, <laughs> she was like, Mel, why are you laughing? If, if I would have been there, maybe I would laugh with you. But right now, I'm just mostly concerned. Like, are you okay? Um, I was just laughing, just like, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, well, kind of. Um, I'm sort of fine. Um, but it was just really funny. It would have been so funny to watch. Um, it's really, again, I'm not going to explain it because it's really hard to explain. And I just don't feel like it, honestly. Um, but um, basically, it ended up with me hurting a lot because... I took a fall, let's say. <laughs> I was walking my dog and I fell. Let's say that. Um, there's more to that, but um, it, it was it, it was something. Um, and my like entire body hurt because basically I fell like just straight forward. 
<laughs> like really, really, really fast as well. Um, but I was walking straight forward, um, or I was walking, what? I fell straight forward as so I landed like on my body and that really hurt. And so my body hurt like all of last week. It, it feels fine now. Um, don't worry, like that's healed up and stuff like that. And I got some scrapes and stuff like that, but that's fine. Um, those also healed up. But the thing that's been is that I injured my arm, <laughs> my right arm, because of course, which if you haven't been here before, you wouldn't know this, or actually I don't talk about that this that much anymore, but I have a hand injury um, that is not carpal tunnel. It's something close to it, but it's not carpal tunnel. It's It has to do with me being hypermobile and it's a lot of things. Basically, whenever I'm at my PC, I have to wear compression gloves and I have to wear some things that like tie some of my fingers together and stuff like that because otherwise my hands will hurt a lot. And it's specifically with my right hand. It is also with my left hand, but it's mostly with my right hand. And so my right hand was already messed up. <laughs> like my left, my right arm, why do I keep saying my left? What? My right arm in general was a little bit messed up because again, I am hypermobile and it causes a lot of issues for me sometimes. Um, but anyways, that's besides the point. Um, I already have some issues. And then when I had that accident slash injury last week, um, basically what happened, like, again, really hard to explain. My arm was pulled, like, really, really quickly. I was walking, um, I guess I am kind of explaining it now. <laughs> I wasn't going to because I don't really know how to explain it well. But, um, I was walking my, um, aunt's and cousin's dog because I was dog singing for them last week. And so I was walking their dog and, um, he's a golden retriever and he's a really big golden retriever. Like, he is huge. Um, and <laughs> he's, like, the weight of, like... A grown man, I swear to God. Uh, well, not maybe a grown man, like a sk skinny grown man, but like a, a man, like a grown, a grown ass adult. Um, <laughs> like he's really tall, or not really tall. He's just really big and he's really strong. And he saw a cat and he ran. And I um, was attached to his leash, obviously. And so he pulled my arm really hard. Um, and so I got a little bit of an injury like that. So now I have. I think it's, it's either a torn. Um, or not a torn, it's either a pulled, like, ligament, or it's a muscle, it's unclear, um, it's one of the two, I don't know, either way, it hurts, <laughs> so, uh, specifically, uh, being at my PC has been a little bit harder than normal, um, because it just, it's not comfortable for my arm to be in that position, it's a little bit better now, like, in the past couple of weeks, it's been, or a couple of weeks, what, in the past couple of days, it's been a little bit better, um, Last week, it was horrible, so I wasn't able to edit. Basically, that's why I didn't um, post last week. But yeah, um, I, I, I heard it really bad. And uh, still now, I'm I'm not able. Well, I guess I am able, but it hurts really badly to like lift heavy stuff. So like at work, um, I, I told my colleagues the day after it happened, because um, it happened like last, like not night time, but like, you know, like dinner time kind of. And so the day after I'd work and I told my colleagues and I didn't even have to tell them that like, I wasn't going to be able to lift anything heavy uh, before they said was like, they just said like, you're not allowed to lift anything heavy. <laughs> so I guess that's the plus side of working in a pharmacy specifically. Like we, we all know what you're supposed to do and not to do when you have an injury, you know? But yeah, so I haven't been able to like lift anything heavy or like raise my arm up. That really hurts as well. I've been doing some like exercises and stuff like that because I don't want it to get like, <sighs> obviously it needs to heal. Like it needs, I, I need to, um, you know, be a little bit still with it and stuff like that to let, let it heal. But also I don't want it to be just completely still. Like I still need to do some exercises with it. So I've been doing that, but, um, just like putting my arms up hurts really bad. Um, so like even just putting my hair up hurts. <laughs> so, um, it, it's been a little bit of a struggle, but I feel, I feel better, but basically that's why there wasn't a video last week. I really wasn't going to explain what happened because when I tried to explain it before, it was really weird. Like I didn't know how to explain it, but I feel like I actually couldn't, I, I was able to explain it here. Um, but that's why like I was hesitant to call it an accident because it wasn't like a car accident or anything like that. It was an accident with while walking my dog and it ended up with me being injured. And I think an accident is what you would call it. I don't actually know. But anyways, and then also um, something happened last week very unexpectedly because um, basically I had an interview for uh, for college that I applied to. Um, and uh, when I was there, they were like, oh, like, they hi, nice to meet you and stuff like that. They kind of just explained 
<laughs> about the program and stuff. And then um, they were like, oh, we have some um, candidates to interview tomorrow. Or not tomorrow, it was a Friday, but it was like later today and next week. So you will get a um, like response of whether you've been accepted or not um, <laughs> next week. And then when literally like 20 minutes later, um, as I walked out of, like, I had walked out of the meeting thingy, and I was waiting on the, for the train, and I had literally called my mom in between that, because, um, she was gonna, like, pick me up at the train station, stuff like that, um, so I, I called her, like, in between me going from that place to the train station, which, by the way, is, like, a minute, um, it's really close, um, <laughs> you didn't have to walk, like, 15 minutes, it was, like, a one-minute walk, um, but as I was sitting, waiting for the train, I just got an email that was, like, acceptance, acceptance letter or whatever um or a letter acceptance email and i had gotten accepted into the program so that's really cool uh but that also means that i'm gonna have less time this fall because i have school now which i'm really excited about i'm excited to go back um it's been a while <laughs> and i'm excited to go back i feel like i'm ready now um but yeah so that's cool i got accepted to a school that actually the only school i don't know i applied for one <laughs> <laughs> and I got accepted. To be fair, I was pretty sure I was gonna get accepted. Um, and then also, I was like, if I don't get accepted to this, that's fine. I'll just work uh, for the next year and then apply to that one or like some other ones next year. But I didn't have to because I got accepted now. So that's really exciting. Uh, but yeah, I started in August. So it's gonna be a busy, busy couple of months now. <laughs> a couple of months. It's gonna be a busy... I don't know, a year, two years now. I don't know how long. It's gonna be busy. I don't think there's any, been anything else happening in my life, honestly. There's been work, my my injury, <laughs> um, my accident, quote unquote. I don't know what you would call it an accident, but my injury, um, which it, it doesn't probably, okay, like <laughs> having like your dog pull, like obviously that's what he did, like he was going after a cat. That doesn't sound as bad, but then you have to remember that like this dog is huge and uh i am not <laughs> i'm not a petite woman like don't get me wrong um not at all i'm on the bigger side but like i'm not like as big as him well i guess i am because i'm a human but you know like he's huge like he is really strong and he is the kindest thing ever it's a golden retriever like he's so kind um, but <laughs> you just saw a cat and I fell and that really hurt. <laughs> like it really, really hurt. And again, I have either like a torn or a pulled ligament or muscle. It's unclear. One of the two, which really hurts. So yeah, I'm going to take it a little bit slow and like let it heal and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, what's been going on in your guys' lives? I hope, hope you're all well. Um, <laughs> This will only make sense to people that are either from Sweden or, I don't know, live here or know, like, Swedish traditions and, like, holidays and stuff like that. But happy Midsummer. Um, hope you had a good one. Or hope you have a good one, because I'm posting this on Midsummer, which... <laughs> Anytime I say that to, like, people that are like, oh, like, no, Midsummer, whatever. Because it's been, like, a few years now where, like, I've had to explain what Midsummer is, because... I grew up with it. Obviously, I'm from Sweden. I lived here my entire life. Um, and I grew up with Midsummer. And it took out oh, like until <laughs> it took until I was, I don't know, I don't know how old I was, but maybe like nine or something like that, to realize that it's a tradition solely in Swedish, in Swedish, in Sweden, <laughs> which for me, like I'm used to it. It's I guess that it makes sense. I think a lot of people can relate to like having a um, holiday in like your country and that not being a holiday anywhere else and it kind of being weird i've like genuinely had americans ask me if we celebrate fourth of july <laughs> and i'm like you do realize that's your like independence day like that's your national day that's what we call it here by the way like it's your national day um that's we don't celebrate that <laughs> I swear to God, Americans don't know sometimes. We don't celebrate 4th of July, the rest of the world. Like, genuinely, the entirety of the rest of the world, we do not celebrate 4th of July. Sorry to break to you. Um, but yeah, Midsummer is a really weird tradition and holiday, but it's so good. I mean, there was literally a horror movie about it. Um, I haven't watched it, but I heard it's good and it has Florin Pew in it, so. I said, it's a Florin. Florence Pew. Um, who, by the way, amazing actress, love her. Um, but <laughs> like, it's a really weird holiday uh, when you think about it. It sounds like a cult. I swear to God, anytime I've talked to um, 
like anyone about it like my friends or whatever i'm like i'm describing a cult to you aren't i and they're like yeah you are because like we dance around a pole it's really like it's really weird it's really weird and we have like traditions where you sleep with flowers under your pillow and stuff like that it's really cute and like it's genuinely not as scary as you might think it is it's nothing like the horror movie by the way um from what i've heard again i haven't watched it but from what i heard it's nothing like it but it's actually a really sweet tradition <laughs> but yeah um if you're swedish or if you for some reason celebrate swedish holidays which i don't know why you would but if you do um hope you had a good midsummer i'm not gonna celebrate it at all i'm just gonna celebrate it by eating strawberries um which by the way it's also like a huge thing eating strawberries like that's midsummer that's what you do um but yeah, i'm gonna i'm gonna eat mids- uh, i'm gonna eat midsummer what no, no 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 i'm gonna eat strawberries uh and celebrate midsummer that way because i i'm not going to see anyone i know a lot of people just take it as an excuse to drink with their friends which so fair <laughs> If you are, le- like, of the legal age, do it, honestly. Have fun with your friends. Uh, with your friends. There we go. Um, but, yeah, other people just put it as, like, a family holiday and stuff like that. Um, it's really funny because, like, we don't celebrate Halloween really here. I mean, a little bit, but not as much. I feel like Midsummer is more celebrated here, which might be really weird for people. But, yeah. Um, anyways, it's Midsummer when I'm posting this. So, again, happy Midsummer, everyone. Um, even if you don't celebrate it, hope you have a good one. Hope we have a good midsummer. Um, it's actually like a national holiday, like it's a bank holiday. Um, the next two days, which is really funny, but yeah. Anyways, uh, I don't know what else to talk about. I've been playing Stardew Valley. Um, I again, I've mostly been working, and with my arm, it's been a little hard to be on my PC. But when I have been on my PC, I've either been playing Sims or Stardew Valley because I have an obsession with both of the games. <laughs> And then also last week, the reason I was dog sitting uh, my aunt's and my cousin's dog was because they were on vacation. And if you didn't know, they live in our house. We we all live in the same house. Um, And so I was dog sitting their dog, uh, obviously. No, I was dog sitting their cat, which I mean, to be fair, it kind of was as well because they do have a cat as well, which is an outdoor cat. So it was really easy to take care of him. But um, I was dog sitting their dog because they were away. And then also my dad was away. So there was only like half the people in my house there normally is. Um, and when I was talking to my friends about this, I was like, oh, there's it's so nice. There's only three people home this week. They were like, only? And you think that's like chill? And I'm like, yeah, that's chill for me. Because we usually have, like six people with five pets. Like we're a lot. It's a lot of sound in this house at all times. Um, to be fair, we live in a pretty big house as well. So only three people living here. It was so quiet. It was so nice <laughs> last week. But me and my mom decided to um, every night we made dinner. And then every night we watched a James Bond movie. Uh, we watched the Daniel Craig ones because I had never watched them. I know, I'm my bio, but um, yeah, I never watched them, so I watched them last week, and they were really good. <laughs> I understand why they're classics. Uh, my favorite was probably Skyfall. I don't know why, it's just really good. It's just really good movie. I mean, they are all really good. Um, but yeah, so that's just what I've been doing. I've been um, healing my arm by just watching stuff as well. Um, I decided to rewatch The Vampire Diaries. I don't know why. <laughs> Don't ask me why I don't know. I was bored, okay? Um, and yeah, again, watching James Bond, playing Sims and Stardew Valley, and sleeping. I've been really tired. I think it's just because I'm like working now as well. I mean, I work throughout the year as well, but during summer, they like take me in like almost full time because they they need me full time <laughs> during summer because I live in a very touristy summer place so that makes sense plus people are on vacation so they just need someone else to come in you know um so yeah I'm not used to it that much so I'm really tired <laughs> and my feet hurt oh my god my feet hurt because I'm on my feet all day and so my feet hurt really bad but it's like a good good like it's you know those pains where it's like you know that you have like you know like workout pain as well it's like you know you've been doing good and it hurts but like you know you did good <laughs> that's the kind of pain i'm in but it's okay um except for my arm that's not a good pain that is that is just pain <laughs> that is just pain um i'm really sad right now because i have iced coffee next to me but um the ice in it has melted and so now it's going to be a little bit watery i've almost finished it so it's fine but it's going to be a little watery and now i'm sad because watery iced coffee is not it. <laughs> Anyways, that's basically it for this video, and I really hope you liked it. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and of course subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!